All right, hello guys. In this video, we're gonna be talking about when to expect your peak fall foliage. This one's gonna be just like the freeze and snowfall videos that are in the same fashion as this one. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask you to subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias, especially the Instagram, which has been growing really nicely and we do daily posts on that that are exclusive. That'll be in the pinned comment down below for you to check out. Now, first things first, we're looking at our first layer here, and this is the late September layer. So we're already approaching some of these areas, getting their first fall foliage or their peak fall foliage, actually, that is. Uh, for a lot of areas there in the Rockies, northern Rockies there, you can see a lot of areas in Montana and Wyoming, and then as well as the southern Rockies down there in Colorado as well. Uh, northern Minnesota, some areas in between Wisconsin and Michigan, as well as upstate New York there, and then the Green Mountains, White Mountains, and interior in northern regions of Maine and New Hampshire. So those regions will expect their fall foliage to peak in late September. So we're already getting quite close to when all of these areas in the brown shade reach their peak. Now, our second shade here is going to be early October for a lot of these areas. So this is also pretty close for these dark, I guess... Uh, we could call it burgundy or a dark red color here. For This covers most of the Rockies. Almost all of the Rockies are involved with this early October color shade. You can see there is some mountain ranges there uh, in Arizona, as well as some areas in between Montana and Wyoming, excluding that aren't really connected to the main area in the Rockies. We also see a lot of the areas in northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and northern Michigan get their peak fall foliage in early October. This is on average, by the way. All these are on average, and then we're going to talk about compared to normal at the end of the video. Now, Appalachian Mountains as well. Areas in between North Carolina and Tennessee. That's a beautiful area, by the way. Gatlinburg area. Highly recommend you travel there if you've never been. Very, very beautiful area. Unfortunately, they had a really bad wildfire there a couple years ago, but it is just such a gorgeous area. Very, very high elevation, and that's why we see the peak fall foliage in early October for these regions, as well as some areas in West Virginia, mountainous West Virginia, also a very beautiful region that I've been to, uh, and we expect our peak fall foliage there in similar time frame, early October, as well as northern central Pennsylvania in through central New York State into the mountains of New York, and then a lot of those mountainous regions in Vermont, New Hampshire, as well as interior Maine alike. Now, your third shade is this very red color. This is about, I would just say, cherry red or red. Uh, and this covers a lot of the northern United States, as you can see. This is our mid-October region. It covers a lot of those mountains there in California, Oregon, Washington as well. But most of northern Nevada, four corner states, all of the northern United States, like Rockies, eastward, Montana, Wyoming, Dakotas, Nebraska, in through some of those Central United States like Iowa, Northern Missouri, Northern Illinois, Northern Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky, all of those Appalachian Mountains being covered by this point, as well as interior New England and the Northeastern United States. Notice that coastal regions in the Northeast aren't included in this, like Boston isn't in the mid-October, so there is a cutoff line there, just a little bit inland. Now, our fourth shade here, I think, yeah, this is our fourth shade, this kind of yellowish orange color extends from the northwest coast of the United States down through California and portions of Nevada four corner states and then up into Kansas around into Missouri Kentucky some of those Mississippi River regions and then down through northern Georgia and then up into the central mid-Atlantic states and northeast coastal states uh, this is the late October region so you can expect your fall foliage peak fall, fall foliage that is in late October for these regions in this kind of orangish yellow color. Now our fifth and final color here is kind of a tan color. This is everywhere that's going to see their fall foliage in November or maybe a little bit later than November. I know some areas get it in December that are within this region, but everywhere outside of this tan color basically doesn't usually see fall foliage much. A lot of these areas that are in the November region hardly even see color. It, they kind of just dry up and fall off. Uh, a lot of those Gulf states, I've heard that that's kind of how it is. So these are all the areas that can expect their fall foliage in November. Coastal, mid-Atlantic, and southeast states, south-central states, and then some of those four-corner states and regions in California and Nevada as well. 
Now we're gonna start talking about things comparatively to normal. So this is the actual forecast portion of this video. That was all historical stuff, your historical averages. Now we're gonna be talking about comparatively to your average, which you just saw, when can we expect to see your fall foliage? Now for this first slide, this is your later than average region down there in that kind of mustard or brown color there. And you can see these are the areas that we're expecting later than average fall foliage, a little bit later. A lot of these regions are expecting warmer than normal conditions this September as well as this fall. And this is gonna lead to a lot of these areas seeing later fall foliage than normal. Obviously, if you don't expect fall foliage and you are in this, then you're probably not gonna get fall foliage. It's just easier to cover all the regions. Did the same thing with my snowfall and fr uh, freeze forecast for this like same series, I guess you could say. Now, our next frame, we add our sooner than average region, and these are the regions that are gonna have below average temperatures throughout the September and fall months. So the Rockies, and then east of the Rockies as well, into states like the Dakotas, Nebraska, northern Kansas, into Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, northern regions of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, including Chicago and Cleveland in there, as well as portions of West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and then up into the northeast and New England states. This is in this blue region where we all expect to see sooner than average fall foliage. Again, the beginning portion of the video showed your average, so you should have already seen what your average arrival of peak fall foliage is, and it's gonna be a bit sooner than that if you're in the blue, and a bit later if you're in the brown. Now you might be wondering to yourself, why do I expect this? So we're gonna go over my September temperature forecast and my fall, full, uh, my fall temperature forecast. See, here's the September temperature forecast that we've made. The temperatures aren't too far off so far in September. We haven't seen the cold really reach as far south, and it's warm in these cold regions right now, but for the first half, this verified, and we're going to have to see how September closes out. But overall, in the entire month, we've seen interior New England, Great Lakes, and north central United States be slightly below average. Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, and Colorado, we haven't really seen it yet, so we're going to have to see how that plays out. Southeast has been warm, though, uh, and then the west hasn't been quite as warm as we were calling for. Nevertheless, we're expecting warmer than normal conditions for the rest of September for the western United States as well as the southeastern United States, and then maybe we're going to close out September with some colder temperatures. The more important one for this is our fall forecast, where we see warmer than normal conditions expected for the northwestern United States as well as the southeastern United States there. But we do see colder than normal conditions expected from the Rockies eastward, into states like, again, the Dakotas, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, some of those Great Lakes states, Ohio, Indiana. And then we see that even darker shade of blue. This is where we expect a moderately below average temperature region to set up for the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Iowa, Nebraska. All these regions are expected to be below average. Now, I guess I might as well update you guys a little bit on this fall forecast, what's playing out the way I thought it would and what's different. Uh, so far, the southeast ridge has been pretty present. Even when we see below average temperatures for the east, the southeast ridge is there. So those warm temperatures there for the southeast is verifying quite nicely. As well as below average temperatures there for the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Just further south than that, we're not quite seeing it yet. So we're going to have to see how it plays out. Again, this week we've seen above average temperatures for those regions. So obviously you're probably feeling a lot warmer right now. But overall... Since September started, it's been quite cold for you guys, but New England's been pretty cold too there in interior. I've been hearing from people in interior Maine saying they've been experiencing below average temperatures and early fall foliage as well as early freezes and stuff. So I would expect early snowfall there as well, which is going to be interesting to see play out. Um, so that's what we have going on. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the Instagram real quick. We've seen tremendous growth on the Instagram. So if you haven't followed it, if you do have an Instagram, I highly recommend you check out that link that's in the pinned comment. We do awesome exclusive posts there, uh, all sorts of exclusive posts, and we also update you on videos that we've uploaded, so if you missed an upload, you will be reminded there to go check it out, and we'll have like a little picture sneak peek of what the video has in store for you, so it's a really cool opportunity if you don't want to miss any uploads, or if you want the exclusive content to go follow that. I think we're up to 420 followers so far, which is like 200 new followers this week, so it's been growing quite nicely, so if you wanted to show your support... We'd hi highly recommend and appreciate it if you do follow that Instagram. We also have the Facebook page and all sorts of other social medias that you can check out in the description. But we're really 
doing the most work on the Instagram. So that's why we're pushing that one the most right now as we get the most information out on that one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. This might be the last of this style because I've already done freeze, snowfall, and fall foliage. But if you guys have any other ideas for anything I could do as far as videos, just like telling you what to expect like that, let me know because I've kind of run out of ideas, at least in that area. So if you do want to see other videos like that, let me know some ideas that you'd like to see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.